This lesson is on model of matter, the particulate nature of matter. The success criteria for this lesson are 1. Describe matter as being made up of small discrete particles in constant and random motion. 2. Describe the arrangement and movement of the particles in matter in the solid, liquid, and gaseous states. So what is matter? Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. Everything around us is made of matter. Matter is made up of particles called atoms, molecules, or ions. Matter exists in three states, solid, liquid, and gases. Particulate nature of matter states that all matter is made up of tiny particles which are in constant and random motion. Constant means non-stop and continuous. Random means unpredictable. And the speed of particles depend on the amount of kinetic energy. Particles in a solid state are very close together and are packed in a regular pattern. There are strong attractive forces between the particles, and the particles are held in fixed positions and can only vibrate about these fixed positions. Particles in a liquid state are less tightly held, but are still close together in a disorderly manner. The attractive forces between the particles in liquids are strong but weaker compared to those in solid, and the particles in liquid states slide over each other freely. In gaseous state, particles are spaced very far apart in random order. The attractive forces between the particles in gaseous state are weak. They move very quickly and randomly. Now we compare the properties of the solids, liquids, and gases. For solids, they cannot be compressed. They have definite shape and volume, and there are very strong attractive forces between particles. For liquids, they also cannot be compressed. They have a definite volume but no definite shape. Liquids takes the shape of container they are in. There are strong attractive forces between particles. For gases, they can be compressed, no definite shape and no definite volume. And the attractive forces between the particles are weak. The particulate model of matter can be used to explain the common properties of solids, liquids, and gases. For example, gases have low density compared to liquids of the same mass as the particles in gases are further apart than particles in liquid. Hence, the particles in gas occupy more space than particles in liquid, and gases occupy greater volume compared to liquids with the same number of particles. With this, we have ended the first part of model of matter, the particulate nature of matter. Hope you have learned something new today.